Well, I'm here with my neighbor, and you know, these some, she's a, her and her husband, Rick, are, are very good neighbors, always been very kind to us ever since we've moved out here. Um, and of course, he's a trucker, so he's usually away from home a lot, and they have this sign posted right here. But yet and still, um, she, uh, I'm coming down the road, and she stops me, and she says, Charles, are you having any problems? There's the elder Doug in him. Have you had any problems down there? I said, no, we're not having any problems lately and stuff. So anyway, check this out. In her drive, I leaned up against this post right here. You can see the driveway. Is this racist sign with a noose on it that says F you and a couple of Nazi signs on each side. Now, no doubt the people that do this is nothing but cowards. Um, and of course, we're going to help her secure her property in her situation because we're going to catch these people. And we've literally been sitting here waiting on Lafayette Finest almost 30 minutes since she's called and, and saw this sign right here at the edge of her driveway. I mean, it is utterly ridiculous. And I mean, we live out. You can see this is rule. She doesn't bother anybody. Nobody around at all. You can see it's rule. I mean, the next house is like way over there. And then on this side over is nothing but woods and woods. And of course, the next trailer is like way down the other end of the land. Why in the world would somebody want to take it up on themselves to harass her? It is it, unbeknownst to me. I don't know. I guess they know um, that, that we... Um, do a lot of target practice and shooting down there at the community. But I, I keep trying to tell you that this spirit of racism is rearing its ugly head. Now, and this is a white woman that's our neighbor and a very kind woman. And this is a white county. And Brother Brian is up, there's Brother Brian right there. He's up visiting from Georgia. And you're probably looking at the only two black men in this county right now within the next, besides the community down there, within the next 50 miles. <laughs> but it's sad that this stuff is going on, especially for someone who doesn't trouble or bother nobody. Her mother has just passed away. She's been back and forth at the funeral home. And she comes home and has to deal with this. Somebody leaves signs like this out late at night. And again, Lafayette Finest, 30 minutes later, she's called, and the sheriff's department has not showed up yet. Do you see the reason why I tell you, if you dial 911, you're going to see what's going to happen to you if you do that in case of a hostile situation. Well, this is a hate crime. I hope they get fingerprints off this noose right here and catch the bastards who did it.